here we go. So I'm with this perfectly awesome pumpkin and this cart keeps rolling downward. Um, anyways, so this pumpkin, since we have this perfect pumpkin with all of the parts of the pumpkin needed, it's healthy, it's perfect. It has all of the requirements for a beautiful Halloween carving. So now the parts of a pumpkin. I haven't really gotten into this in detail, so I plan to introduce this to you right now. So this is the stem. The stem, it can come in many colors, but the ripest, ripest color is green. So the stem is a deep, rich green, which means it is ripe. There we go. So now this orange part, like all of these orange part is the skin. Just like we have our own skin. The pumpkin has the skin too. And for a ripe pumpkin, the skin has to be very, very, very thick so that the pests and insects and flies won't harm it. And now no pumpkin will be a pumpkin without these stripes going down. These stripes are called ribs, which uh, is very weird because pumpkins, uh, they don't have like human intestines and stuff. But yes, these ones are called ribs. And if you, by some chance, of course, slice this thing open, the pumpkin, I mean, then the inside will be very smushy and stuff. So, in the inside, there will be seeds. And seeds are basically as big as a fingernail, which is really tiny for a huge pumpkin like this, yes. And then the seeds are basically surrounded by the mushy stuff called the pulp. The pulp or flesh of it. It's different from the skin because it's much mushier. And then in there are strings. These strings, they just hang around and they get loosely, and then basically they have no use. So, the inside is perfect for a pumpkin pie. When I mean the inside, I mean the pulp and flesh. So if you by any chance want a healthy pumpkin pie, you probably slice this thing open, and then boom, you have all the materials you need. 